All right, welcome to the birth of the cassette tape, aka compact cassette, introduced for the Berlin Radio Show in 1963. Now, and this is the American version of the first cassette recorder on the market in 1964 in the United States, branded under the name Norelco because of copyright uh, from the Philco Corporation, it wouldn't, the company, the parent company wouldn't be able to use its name uh, Phillips because it sounded in the United States because it sounded too much like Philco. So um, <clears throat> Phillips used their uh, Norelco name, and so in 1963, Phillips came out with the EL3300 cassette recorder, and this is the first cassette tape that came out in 1963 when the cassette was debuted at the Berlin Radio Show. They had this tape as the one that they brought to the Berlin Radio Show, so when they introduced the first cassette recorder, this one is the uh, Norelco 150. It is just the American rebranded version, and it was introduced in America in 1964. So when they came out, they called them a cartridge. And the first, when they first came out, they didn't even call it a compact cassette tape. That wasn't the universal name for it. It wasn't called a cassette. Because everything that had come out before that was a cartridge. Everything was called a cartridge. These are the things that you can mail through the mail. You know, send through the mail and mail these to your friends in Vietnam or wherever you're at. And um, here we go. There's your leather case. And there's your microphone that goes with that. Okay, this is the... Um, it's in still place. This is the date inside this machine is 1965. So... The American version of this tape was the Norelco uh, tape. And you can see the way it looks. The tape that came out in 64, since my player is verified to be made in 1965 now, the, Nor the Phillips tape came out first. Now the Phillips tape came out first in 63, so... The very first prototype version did not have record prevention tabs that this tape in 1964 has. So some versions of the of the Phillips cassette did have uh, record prevention tabs, but every other tape made since 1964 has had record prevention tabs like these. Now, blank cassettes, you're going to have ones that are ones that you can tear out, you know, like this, you see. The kind you punch out so you can't record over, but you can see that our first cassette made in 1963, this is the first cassette in the world to see the original. It doesn't have any record tabs on it. So... This is a very old cassette. You can tell that's when they first started calling it a compact cassette using that name, the late 60s, so the mid 60s. So this is, we're going to demonstrate the longevity of the cassette tape and just how well made the cassette is. That it's magnetically stable and that contrary to popular belief, most of the, uh, most of the time ta tapes don't shed their ma don't lose their magnetic uh, uh, magnetic imprint. And the sticky shed syndrome usually doesn't apply to cassettes. Usually, that sticky shed has applied to the Ampex videotape and some reel to reel Ampex audio, certain types of audio reel to reel tapes, but a lot of the cassettes haven't suffered from that, but um, some more than others. But you can still recover the information even if it does get sticky shed syndrome. The tapes will still um, retain their information. You know, they have to be baked and stuff like that to retrieve the information. So here we go. Here's the tape recorded in French from the French people 
who recorded this tape so long ago. Tape 60 years old. Okay, here's a little bit of that cassette, the first cass one of the first cassettes in the world. Another way you can tell a very old cassette tape is they use flathead screws instead of Phillips head screws. You know, all of the newer, but moving on to stereo sound. Now this, in 1964, when this cassette recorder was introduced in America, this tape recorder came with this demonstration cassette. This demonstration cassette, this is a... A, a replica because it's not the real thing now this uh, label here came with my tape recorder and it is original but the tape was missing so I found the stuff on the stuff from it and recorded it onto another cassette on all these very old cassettes it'll say made in Holland if you can freeze your tape freeze your video it'll say made in Holland so here we go this is what the this is a demonstration cassette um, for the very first tape recorder in America. Norelco Care Quarter 150 demonstration cassette tape cartridge. Here we go. This is just a replica with the original programming on it. Here we go. Here's what it sounds like. This is your Norelco carry quarter speaking, and I have a very interesting story to tell you. Less than a half an hour ago, I checked out of my hotel in London, and I'm now on board the boat train to Southampton on my way home to New York. That's the sound you hear in the background. We still have some time before we get there, so I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself and what I did the last three weeks while winging my way around Europe. First of all, pick me up. A real lightweight, huh? Just three pounds and I can fit into your overcoat pocket. I speak up right away, too. No warm-up time for me because I play on transistors. Now, what happens when I get hungry? Well, just look into the little window down at the right and you can tell when I need new batteries. Five C cells fill me up real good, and I can record for 20 hours. By the way, these batteries can be bought just about anywhere. What size reels do I play, you ask? Well, that's where I've got you. I don't. I'm a cartridge player. Just pop in the cartridge, and I'm ready to go. So that's the introduction to the cassette tape recorder and introduction to the cassette tape format in the 60s. 
when nobody had heard of cassettes, there were other versions of the cassette that came before in a man named Lou Ottens that worked for Phillips in um, Europe. He worked and he's the one who developed, developed the cassette. There were other versions of the cassette, other kinds of tapes, that there were format wars. In 1958, the RCA came out with the RCA cartridge in stereo sound for playing music. You can see the cassette tape versus the size of the RCA cartridge. RCA cartridge came out in 1958. They were looking for something smaller to be able to use. And so cassette tape, basically music cassettes were the next step in the cassette journey. In 1966, Phillips, along with Mercury Records, come up with an idea to introduce record albums onto the cassette format. Now here we go. This is the first tape from 1966 advertising a demonstration cassette advertising music on cassette because they'd never had music in stereo before on cassette and they never had music in stereo in cassette. Cassettes were only mono. Cassettes were never in stereo. They never had music. They're all pre-recorded mostly for dictation is what cassettes were, were for. So this is the demonstration cassette. This tape came out in 1966, and they, Phillips came out with these labels on here. They would say music cassettes because that's what they all became, what were known as in the 60s when they came out. They're known as music cassettes. They all had paper labels on them just like this, you know. And so this tape is almost 60 years old. You can see almost 60 years old is still place. 60 years old is still place. Here are the titles when the music set first came out. The music titles and the singers that all came out on Mercury Records. A big long list of, of singers that um, were introduced on the music cassette, new music cassette format, stereo um, cassette cartridge. Okay, and here, what the new music cassettes offer you. What the new music cassettes offer you. Easy playback, music wherever you are, take your music with you, quality, permanent top value, choice from large uh, repertoire. Music cassette, an entertaining choice from the music cassette report offered by Phillips, Fontana and Mercury. So, you know, and they came out in 1966 with music, you know, this is what you got for your money. In the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s, and, uh, they started producing different um, record companies started in like 1968, started coming up with um, working with Ampex, Ampex tape, and so the Ampex uh, cases. Okay, now the Ampex, Ampex uh, tape used these uh, snap cases. These are plastic cases with the um, label glued to it, with, of course, a paper label on it, and they all say Ampex on them. But they came out with those in the 60s, late 60s, too. So that's just a, this is kind of an example of what one of the early music cassettes would have looked like. One of the titles that you could have gotten, of course, you got your Phillips style of um, paper label with the Phillips emblem on there. You know, and then you got your, you, know, you got your stuff in here, your, now this didn't have anything inside of that. And they used that format for a long time, but... When they came out in the 60s, that's kind of how they were. Okay, this has just been a little overview of the um, birth of the audio cassette as we know it and the, what the first audio cassette looks like and why it came out looking the way it did. 
and some of the updates on the cassette. And this is the collectible um, case, you know, thing with the first cassette recorder in America and the first cassette recorder in Europe and in the world, the Philips EL3300 or 3301 in the rebranded as a Norelco 150 carry recorder. So basically the same thing. You see this kind of slide switch like that. You know, that's the original. So we'll see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.